All right, he is the host of Esquire's Network's Car Matchmaker with Spike Ferriston. Spike Ferriston is over here. Spike, how are you, my friend? Spike Ferriston, ladies and gentlemen. That's a... <laughs> so we introduced the subject of cars because yes, you, you were coming out and mm -hmm. you are you are yet another comedian who's crazy into cars. Leno and Seinfeld, what is it with comedians and cars? What um, you, you would know comedians are fun experts and cars are really fun. Not to me. <laughs> what not, do you drive? I, I, well, I... I <laughs> that's interesting. I drive a Volkswagen. No. <laughs> Uh, I have a Tesla, mm -hmm. and uh, when I need to go far, I also have an Audi, which I want to get rid of now because Volkswagen owns Audi. Mm -hmm. They own Audi and what else? Uh, Porsche. Porsche. Porsche, Porsche, right. Porsche as well. And, well, what do people, uh, what are supposed to pe people supposed to do now who have these cars, who thought they were buying a green or pretty green car and find out they're not? They want to get rid of that car. They're, they're screwed. Oh. They're screwed, frankly. And nobody knows how they're going to fix this, whether there's going to be an update in the software or whether, you know, they're going to get a, a letter by the, from the California DMV who's going to, they're, they're just going to say, we're not going to re-register your car next year because it doesn't conform to EPA standards. No one quite knows. I will tell you this. Uh, you can tell how serious it is at Volkswagen because they hired the same law firm that the BP people did after the oil spill. <laughs> That's how big this is. <laughs> That's the number of lawsuits and the number of upset consumers and the yeah. number of countries. Is it going to be more than just Volkswagen, though? That's what people want to know. Is it kind of like Deflate Gate, where they all did it, but one of them did it worse and got caught? Right. Everyone, it's my opinion, everyone's gaming the EPA. Really? Wow. Yeah, everyone is gaming the EPA. And, I, and I'll tell you, this is a good analogy. Imagine that the EPA is the casino, right? And the car manufacturers are the gamblers, and they love to gamble. Some of them really like to count cards. And then you have Volkswagen that likes to hack a slot machine, right? Right. And, and, and Volkswagen should really be in the back room with De Niro getting its hand hammered like this for what they, for what they did. <laughs> right. That's how bad this is. That's how bad it really yeah. is. Well. And uh, here's the reason why. The EPA establishes the test for the new car. So you come up with a new car, they establish this emissions test. But they don't have the funding to conduct the test. So what they say is, you go conduct your test and let us know how it turned out, <laughs> right? It's, you know, right? It, it, so imagine, oh. you know, you're in, you're in school, you're a teacher, and it's, it's finals time, and they say, We're gonna, you're gonna take this final, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to another country, you, you email me your grade and let me know how it turned out. <laughs> and, and everybody's surprised that this happened. Oh my gosh. I... Hopeless. Yeah, hope, hope, you're, hope. Yeah, confirming hope your hope. theory, John. <laughs> well, if you... <laughs> <laughs> if you pegged it, sir. What can I say? If you fund the EPA properly and you give them the proper right. budget, you know, yes. it, this isn't a problem. This really isn't a problem. And it's important because the stuff that's coming out of these tailpipes, this nitrogen oxide, is the stuff that affects you and me today, you know, 40 times higher. It's the stuff that affects your lungs, it's asthma sufferers, it's really, right. it's really bad. It's not something you have to wait to happen. It's been going on now since 2009.